Hey everyone, I'm going to do the Call Me Crafty Owl sheet load of cards for January 2022. This template requires three pattern papers. However, I'm going to adjust the design slightly. The yield is also nine cards and I'm actually only going to make eight because I'm going to use some of my existing backing panels that I have here in the blue instead of this pattern paper. And then I'm going to use some of my one and a half inch scraps so there's actually a one and a half inch pattern paper through the middle here, which is perfect. So I can use my giant supply of leftover scraps that I have from a previous project. And then for this middle paper here, I've cut down from 12 by 12 and I only have eight of those. So I'm gonna do eight instead of nine cards. I'll put a link to the Call Me Crafty Owls site so that you can find out more about the sheet load of cards template but it does include all the details about how to cut down the pattern papers, how to cut out the backing panels uh, and all of the matting layers, all of the details are provided. My intent here is to use standard A2 card bases. So these are just plain white and a five and a half by four and a quarter. I'm then going to use one of my blue as my matting layer. I then have this, which I will matte with white and then these ones are already matted with white and then this will become this piece going straight across the middle i'll then have my white square and then what i'm actually going to do is i have some spare cardstock here i'm going to stamp out this rocket ship to be my die cut and then i'll stamp a happy birthday across the bottom i'm going to do the happy birthday in hero arts navy ink and i'm actually going to use stone wash from hero arts to stamp the rocket ships and if it looks good i'll use it if if not, I'll fall back and just use black. So I have stamped out all of the happy birthdays in the navy ink from Hero Arts and I'm using my Misty stamping tool to stamp out the rocket ships. This stamp set is called I Believe and it's from Spellbinders. I'm not sure if it's still available, but if it is, I will attach it in the link below. What I've found with this stamp is I need to do it two or three times to uh, get a really good, clean, Stamp. Okay, so now I've got myself a little bit more organized. I have stamped all and fussy cut all of my rocket chips. I've also cut some scrap pieces of heavy cream cardstock so that I can level out some of the layers. This is what the card's gonna look like. I'm gonna run through and create one from start to finish and then I'll finish all the rest off camera and show you the end result. I always start with my backing panel and then layer on top of. And then after it's completed, I will then use my trimmer to trim down the sides. The intent there is you know that you get a perfect cut that goes right along the edge. Okay, so piece number one is down. Now this goes quite high up. I'm gonna put it about here. And this is where I start to use my layers. So I have layers for toe pieces, one for the back of the star paper, and then I have some layers for the back of this happy birthday panel here. I'm gonna start with this, and I'm gonna add a piece over here, and then for this one. So I don't have a dip on either side, which is fantastic. Now I'm going to attach this, so the next part for this is going to sit about here which means I'm going to add one of these at the top and one of these at the bottom. I use my tape runner when I do most of my cards just because I find it quick. The other thing I'll say as well is for anyone who has a tape runner and is looking for a place where you can get bulk refills there is a company called Tape Jungle in the United States that do sell them in bulk. I'll put a link below. So I don't want my rocket ship to be particularly centered. I don't want it sideways or anything crazy. I just want it on a bit of an angle and I want it to be hanging a little bit off the square. I've deliberately put the happy birthday to the right hand side because I don't want things too symmetrical and in the middle. And so if I'm attaching this here, basically I am going to just chop some of the spare cardstock and I'm just going to attach it to the top of the rocket ship. And that should be enough to stop it from dipping down at the top. And then based on the fact that I really don't want to fussy cut this all too much. Where the cardstock is will probably dictate how much of my rocket ship is sticking off the top of my white square. Because again, I don't want to get too fussy about it. So I think this kind of looks how I was intending. 
And again, nice and flat, there's enough of it. There's a little bit of this hanging off, but I think that just gives the card a bit of dimension. All right, so this is card one, almost complete. Now I just need to trim it down. I need to trim both directions because of the pattern paper. If I go this way, I'm literally just lining up my rectangle and chopping the piece off the end. And then again, lining up with the edge of my blue paper. Chopping that, so that's my leftovers. And then a final step is to attach this panel straight onto the white card base. Now I always do it with the spine towards me. That way if I line something up strangely and I need to trim down the white card, then I'll be trimming down on the, the sides that won't impact the hinge of the card. So, But normally this is pretty straightforward. So this was pretty good. I did a pretty good job of lining it up. I will say at the bottom down here, there's a little bit more, it's a little bit longer. So with these, what I'd normally do is I just run through and if anything looked a little bit imbalanced, I just trim it up. So it just has a bit of a, a bit of look. So this is the first card. Hopefully that's working. And I'm going to now go through and make another seven. So I've now finished all eight cards using the January 2022 sheet load of cards template. Hope you enjoyed the video. I've put a link to another one right here for you to enjoy. Have a great day.